Phones for You, the UK's second largest retailer of mobile phones and one of the great entrepreneurial success stories of the last 20 years, has collapsed into administration. With me today to discuss that is Daniel Thomas, who's the telecoms correspondent of the FT. Dan, where did it all go wrong? Well, there is an irony on one of the busiest trading days for, for all phone shops in the country when there are lines of people queuing up for the latest iPhone 6. There are close signs on all the phones for you stores around the, uh, around, around the UK. Uh, 600 shops uh, are at the moment, uh, perhaps 600 shops are, are closed because last night uh, BC Partners, which owns um, Phones for You, decided that uh, it could no longer keep that, that business going. What, what triggered that decision? Well, on Friday, he decided that uh, it could no longer be a supplier of Phones for You. This reflects a broader trend within the, in the mobile operators to withdraw their business from third party retailers. They pay a fee, you see, to these companies to sell their phones despite the fact that they have their own large uh, portfolios of high street uh, stores. And Vodafone had already pulled out, so what we see now is something of a blame game. John Cordwell, I think, who founded Phones for You, has said that the actions of Vodafone were, were ruthless. We've also had a little bit of a spat between Voda and BC Partners today. But I think overall, perhaps what we see is uh, a concern about who's in the line of fire for blame. Whose fault do you think it is? Well, to be honest, I think it's the market's fault. The market's fundamentally changed since, uh, since Phones for You came through. People know how to use smartphones these days. They don't need that advice that they used to be given from these chains. Uh, at the same time, operators don't need to sell through them. They've got the scale to go directly to customers, particularly with online sales being as they are. So as such, it's difficult to say that there's anything other than trading. Like the trading has changed. What didn't help, obviously, is BC Partners uh, potentially, potentially didn't help, at least. This is what Vodafone alleges, is that BC Partners gave the company less wriggle room to offer better terms to its mobile partners by withdrawing about £200 million worth of, uh, of, of equity from the company last year in, a, in what's called a dividend recap. Effectively means putting debt into the, into the balance sheet and taking the money out as a, as a, as a one-off payment. So perhaps we shouldn't wring our hands too much over uh, problems at a legacy retailer. We've seen plenty of those before. Perhaps this is the market doing what it's supposed to. Just take the argument forwards a little. What do you think those trends that have damaged phones for you mean for its long-term rival um, Carphone Warehouse, which we now know as Dixon's Carphone following a merger? Well, Carphone Warehouse, or Dixon's Carphone, as you say, is a case in point of a business which has changed. I mean, I think uh, I mean, Carphone Warehouse, when they, when they announced the merger with Dixon's, came out with grand statements about the Internet of Things and this, this grand strategy. In my view, at the time, it was a defensive strategy to get away from this exact problem they had of selling phones to customers, which was a, a declining market. Instead, they've teamed up with Dixon's, and now they're a broad electrical retailer. They can sell fridges and they can sell phones, and they have, the, they have that scope. So for them, I think that's actually a decent story because they remove one of their big rivals, and a long-term, long-standing rival at that. And at the same time, so they can pick up some of the customers there. And in fact, they can even pick up some of the employees if they wanted to. But we, it still remains to be seen whether those same trends which hurt phones for you are going to continue to work their way through the supply chain. So I think uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Carphone, uh, Dixon's Carphone as an independent will do over the long term. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you.